needs help. You ask for it, we're delivering it right now, the ultimate sand shoot challenge with a twist. What's the twist you say? We'll get to that in a second. You've seen a struggle day and night on this particular hill. It's a terrible job. It's a terrible place to be stuck. It's difficult to recover from, but we're gonna test our rigs to see how capable they are. So first of all, we've got the wrecker. You guys wanna see how it performs on here. We're gonna see today. The Morver, we were just talking. I don't believe the Morver has ever been down here. So we don't even know if it'll drive back out. The banana, we just recently had it here. It was a struggle. Took a lot of runs to get it back out of here. Here's where it gets interesting. Last night, we got a text from Christopher. Uh, he's with VinWiki, an awesome YouTube channel about automotive things and stories yeah. and whatever. So Christopher's here with Sway. They've partnered up on this Cayenne. They've been doing cool things with it. You're gonna be do doing cool things. Pan Am, you're gonna drive that thing from like Alaska to Argentina? That is the plan, yeah. This is the right. shakedown, so. Okay, so we'll we see. decided to bring them on the absolute most difficult, worst sand trap that I know of in this county or in in the world in the tri-state region <laughs> so we're gonna try that out and then Hefe was like hey if a porsche cayenne's doing it the bronco is <laughs> well in the highly likely event we get stuck there are no better people to be with so we are in good hands <laughs> you'll get the pick recovery vehicle yeah. there you go. so the plan is pretty basic it's not going to be scientific we're just going to drive to the bottom and drive back up i'll be piloting the wrecker rhett's going to be piloting the morver tom tom's going to be in the banana Christopher's gonna be in the Porsche, or Porsche, excuse my my uh, German. English. And then Hefe's gonna be in the Bronco. How well do you uh, think we're gonna do right now? Oh, we'll get to the bottom, no problem. What are the predictions? <laughs> no problem, we're gonna get right Going to the bottom. Going down will be fine. I would hate to be last, <laughs> Hefe. Okay, well, Rhett, we're getting ready to descend into the chute. Copy, Colby. What are your thoughts? I think we're gonna make it first try. Colby copies. Because we're team Morver. Um, or Matt, we might have a dead banana. Tell me more. It turned like half a crank and it didn't start. The batteries are pretty corroded, so. Maybe you can get a little more juice. Yeah, just go, just hold it in the start position. <laughs> Woo! Huh? That's uh -huh. hot. Okay, try again. Here it goes. Okay, we're leaving the banana running the rest of the day. One of those quirks and features. We got dual batteries and they're both dead. All right, we're headed down this thing. We'll see if the wrecker's got what it takes to get back up. I know it's got what it takes to get down. A couple quick facts about the wrecker. It's got a Gen 7 GM big block. That's a 8.1. It's got nine ton axles with 54 inch tires. And we haven't weighed it, but it's between 10 and 12,000 pounds. Why is the Morver going to win? It's got. 5.3, it's on 40 Milestar Patagonias with some Dodge axles. And, you know, it's the coolest looking, so that gives it like an extra 50 horsepower. So this trail doesn't look like a big wide open sand dune because it's got all these plants growing on it, but that's basically what it is. This trail's going diagonal up a super steep dune. All right, so this Bronco's pretty stock except for, it's got skid plates, bumper, and uh, some supports for the steering, because that's a major problem with these. Last time we came out here, there was no way I was driving down this. But if that Porsche is gonna drive down this, I'm definitely going down and we're gonna check it out. The only thing that makes me feel comfortable about this is the wreckers here. So if I do get stuck down there, I have a feeling it'll just pull me right out. Right now we're descending down the hill and we're at a 17% angle down. My bet is the Bronco is going to do better than the Porsche just because I have bigger tires and more traction. The Porsche, though, has about 200 more horsepower than this does, but it's got way smaller tires. We, I, we've seen all the videos of Matt rescuing people, and I helped rescue one car out of here, and that was enough for me to be like, I'm not driving down there because there's one way in and one way out. This is the steepest, worst section. It's steep, it's narrow, it's got a bending turn that scrubs off all your speed, and it's gonna be a tough climb today, it's hot. So already from our observation, the wrecker's a little bit wide for this trail, but he might not need the speed that we're gonna need. Looks like nobody's been down here since we were down here. Not too many people know about this, and once you know about it, you don't really go back down there again. So it's that's... usually a bad experience. Yeah. <laughs> So 
So right over on the other side of this mountain is Taco Bell. It's a long ways away though. So close to a taco yet so far. So this 1956 International on a custom chassis um, has a handicap that we haven't fixed yet, and that is it doesn't have any lockers. If, will, will it stay together for a minute? Like if we plugged it in? Desperate times will call for desperate measures. Right. I don't know what it's gonna do. So you can see the challenge here. You, it was nighttime when you were yeah, here before. Yeah, yeah we already that got is a soft, soft, so soft, soft. What sand. do you do if it doesn't get out? Well, all of our rescue rigs are down here, so. We, one of them will at least make it out. We might be calling some friends to come get their help we, with the wrecker. I know, but are, are they gonna winch out the wrecker? That looks a little wet. There is some moisture in it. That's. that's I bet the wrecker goes right yeah. out. I've got 12 pounds of air pressure in the wrecker tires. Let's see how it does. Man. Are you running all the way? Or are you gonna? No, nope, we're gonna the stop. Bed? We're gonna stop at the that staging area there. Okay. I'm actually gonna drive up the road so everybody can get behind. All right. In the same order. Okay, <laughs> Brett, keep track of some times here. Well, how do I know when you make it to the top? I'm gonna send a radio signal that says done. So grab a radio. I'm grabbing some sustenance right off the bat. So we're gonna see how long it takes for the record to get up. Okay, we're on our first run. Not looking good. We're in trouble. I thought he was just gonna climb that with no problem. Keep I thought going. he was just pulling up to recenter. Do you need more speed? Do you want to shift one of these up into high? Come on! Come on! At least he's not really digging ruts. He's kind of compacting it. Right, what's our strategy going to be? I'm just going to floor it. All the way to the floor, she clears to the very top. No, I, we, I've got plenty of gears. I just need to be in the right one when the time comes. Yeah. Oh, wow. We're backing up for a very long run at this. For you and mom you didn't make it but your time was 433 <laughs> um i need you to get around the corner and then me get to there and winch off of you okay what yeah the wrecker won't do it too that heavy was my only hope was the wrecker <laughs> well if we had lockers we would definitely do it so we might be like chain link winching all the way up the do you have a winch no <laughs> It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. The, the um, if if all I do is get the Morvair in front of me, uh -huh. I can winch off. But once I get around that corner, I'll be fine. All I right. Think. No pressure, Rip. That's hey, a, that's so a steep corner. So we do have a secret weapon on the Morvair that nobody else has. We have the kit scanner going right now. How much horsepower will that give us? It gives us turbo boost. Turbo boost. I'm excited. I know we'll get out of here. I'm not worried. Well, I know we'll get out of here too, but I'm starting to think this was a very bad decision to put all of our recovery rigs <laughs> at the bottom of this hill. I'm just hoping we get out of here today. I got in trouble. Rory! <laughs> oh. 
Paul! Did you hear that? It sounded like someone was calling my name or something. Yeah, it's probably nothing. I'm hiking over to Taco Bell. I know, it's probably shorter to go. The, fast, way to get the fastest way out of here is to hike up to Confluence Park. And it's, it's only like right. two miles that way. The shop's only, what, two miles that way too? Yeah, but that's pretty rugged country that way. Yeah. How far back of a run do you think we need? I'm going all the way. I'm gonna get, very, I'm gonna get everything we can. Okay, you're in four wheel. I'll make sure you Got stay in four wheel. Time. <laughs> you're getting a good run on this. Go. Shifting. I need to lock in a lower gear. Okay. Lower gear. Do you think we should go in four high instead no. of four low? No. What gear were you in? I'm in third, so I'm gonna put it in second. Second. Yep. Back all the way up. Okay. Get your speed up. We're right there. We just have to get that little bit up around the corner where Jake is. This is not good. the record. We're gonna give them an estimated time of six minutes and three seconds. Yep. We're gonna do a little gear change here. We're gonna be high range on the doubler, low range in the transfer case. And what are then, you running the transmission at? I think I'm gonna try to lock it in into first. Okay. Get one more mark and then winch from there. Yeah. wondering how long we've been trying to get the wrecker out for. It's not looking so good. Oh, we're puking out coolant. No, you're overheating? Well, we're puking out coolant. It's a sign that we're warm. This isn't good, man. No, this isn't good. It is cooking hot out here. And if the wrecker doesn't get up, I don't know that some of these other vehicles will get out. Stop. So the winch got bound up inside there. They tried pulling it out to get the winch cable out and ended up pulling a little too far and we broke that piece, this piece right here. We so, call that the mushroom. It's not a very strong part. It's not meant to hold the whole winch on because when the winch is wound up, that's what keeps the winch from pulling up on the spool. So, so completely our fault. What we did was we made a really bad situation worse and now we're gonna fix it. We're going to do our best. That's all I can promise. Okay. If you got it spooling started, it would probably work, right? I, I, I don't know how much or the exact procedure to do that. But yes, it's possible. Okay. 
Run it in. How long? Till I scream. I'll scream bloody murder when you need to stop. 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 That's what I'm asking. They're winching in. Keep going. Now I'm to start to pull. Okay, stop. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I thought this would climb out of here. I thought it would too. I thought it'd go with, right up, but that's no big with deal. With lockers, it would have. Oh, yeah. So, Hefe, I need the Morver running in drive on the brake. Okay. And as soon as I just want to get, I want to take a break as soon as I get the wrecker right there. We're in big trouble. <laughs> so I'm thinking some of us should build a shelter and some of us should look for food. We did get a good spot. <laughs> oh man, my hubris bit me in the butt. I was quite convinced that the wrecker would crawl out of here. It was lockers, maybe I was right. Oh, I love your phone, there right? You go. <laughs> so, uh, now we cool off in the middle of the day. So here's where we are. The wrecker's not done, all right? Which means we don't have a proper fan shroud on the mechanical fan. Like we have no shroud actually. It's, so working it on that hill is on the verge of overheating. The Morver is not really heavy enough to winch off from and the wrecker without lockers is almost dead weight. There's a couple things we could do. One, we can keep just beating our head against the wall because that always works eventually. I'll go for that. Or I can go up and try to figure out where I can steal airlines from and get at least one of my lockers working. And I think the front one's the one that needs to work. If I had a piece of rubber hose, I could connect those two. It's quarter inch line, so I had quarter inch rubber hose that would be enough. Oh, this is nice. Is that the dead salmon? Goodbye, Jake. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Hey, uh, good luck with the wrecker. I have faith in you guys. Which this will get us both our lockers. So this is the offender right here. The one that came apart. This is the one that goes in right here. I'm hoping. Cut that line further back and splice it with the union. I don't think I need to cut it back. You locked? We should have lockers now. Those like shark bites or something? No need to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay, exactly, we, made, but different. we made that harder than it probably needed to be. Well, that's kind of our specialty. We should be locked front and rear now. Yeah, because all the, all we need is air pressure. Okay, let's turn on the power. Let's see, if we got air. Well, it's smart of us to bring those. Yeah. <laughs> I remember ordering them, and I remember why, but I didn't remember that we had them. Sometimes we're smart. Sometimes we're lucky. But whatever. I don't see a puke in anything. Do you want to back down and make a run with lockers? No. All right. It takes a big man to admit defeat. I'm not a big man. So what we're going to do is we're going to park the wrecker down there in the shade because it's obviously not going to climb out today. And then we'll come back in with 
what we need to fix the airlines to keep the lockers just get the rest of the vehicles out of here if we can even do that that's the plan it's not defeat if you in, eventually end up winning we don't know that though well the more bears on its way up it's got no problem making the hill so i stopped hour. matt's time at no, an hour and 25 seconds we're, see what happens if you if you keep it in low we'll give it a run this is it we got this we got this maybe okay I'm feeling super nervous about this hill. The wrecker tore up the path at the top of this point where we're trying to get to, and it's not looking good. All the way and hammer down. Okay, just get a little, more, a little more speed. I think that was the right gear. Okay. Dude, we hit those giant. We hit them ruts. Giant potholes, man. Tom's done the best so far. One minute, 49 seconds. If I can get the Bronco to there, that would be awesome. Man, them ruts are bad. They are bad. That's an understatement. Brett is perched in a precarious situation up there and it's scaring me just a little bit. Oh, I can see they're pulling a winch line. That's actually the exact same spot that I almost backed Paul off when we came and did the night rescue. It's really narrow right there and then the edge just falls off. He didn't have anyone helping him back up and his front end just fell off. And no one was watching him but me from down here and I couldn't do anything. If we're under there and under there and under there, I think that will do it. Start easing up while you're on it. Medium, I don't know. Give it a little bit of gas. Turn my way. Turn my gas. Oh, uh, what does the fuel gauge say? Quarter tank. Okay, the wrecker's full of gas. Chris has a gas tank. We're not going to be able to start. This. Let off the brake. It should start. Had an hour of charge. Let off the brake. Okay, put it in park. Okay, let's do the gas thing and try this again. How big of a gas can does he have? Looks like a little five gallon. Perfect. Five gallons will do it. 100% chance. We ran out of gas. Oh, Tom ran out of gas. Hey. Hey, we called this. <laughs> oh. He's laughing because I asked him at the gas station if we should fill up and he said, no, it's going to be fine. We've also been idling it the whole time because we didn't want to turn it off because the battery's dying or dead. Here, will you pull it out just a little bit, Hefe? That's the nice thing about a, what is that, a hundred gallon fuel tank? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. Good grief. <laughs> this is what it's like knowing me. All right, so we don't know how this next little bit's gonna go. So we're gonna have them take the Cayenne as far up as possible. If they can get pretty close to the Jeep, I think we're gonna lash them together and winch everything as a unit. Will it work? No, no, it won't work. <laughs> I'm curious, we're gonna learn a lot here in a couple of seconds. Go, 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 go. Woo! All right. <laughs> How's the gas? It was about two thirds full. Oh, good. Okay. So that's not nothing. I think that's about what we need. We have got to get this yeah, out get of the it up hole. Out of hole. So just start it up and see if it'll try to keep it running on the first start. Brett, go get in that car. I want you 
just to crawl forward ever so slowly. You've got the saw at a higher frequency. And make sure that your throttle input doesn't get excited by how radically fast the saw. Yeah, my foot wants to saw fast when my hands are sawing fast. You gotta be able to rub your pat your head and rub your belly. Never good at that. Yeah, you might not have been out of gas. go forward without frantic scratching and please don't drive off the cliff. All right, start your gentle pull. Actually, back up. I changed my mind. Back up. We need a winch line down here for us. I could have got a gym membership. Instead, I work for this guy. I'm going back to a Bronco. You should have drove the Bronco up here. Up there. Nope. Walk over here and sit in the shade. There. You gotta ask me twice. I wonder how the zombie would do on this. Don't think about it. We should. <laughs> when we sweet. do the redo. Should we bring the Bombi? We'll bring the Bombi. I hope these guys don't have any plans for three days. We voluntarily chose to do this, if you can believe that. Like, this is voluntary. We're like, sure, this will be fun. is there's not a straight line that like this yeah. is already too long right here yeah you're right it's gonna go okay. right across the corner this all right let's back this out all right rat start driving forward We knew both of those could get out no matter what. I was gonna put the Morbear right here and I was gonna put the Jeep up there. All right, so we have the banana up here with a winch to a winch line extension. Run all the way down to a joint right down here. So it can pull up the hill and then the Morbear's over here on the road and it can provide winch line up. We got a good triangle of death going on. All right, that's good for a second. Oh, this is, this is awesome and terrible. It's been a day. I just hope we don't pull that bumper off that car. If the bumper comes off, I'll back down. We'll pull it out backwards. It won't come off. Unless we pull it super hard on it. All right, are we ready? More of air ready. Bananas ready. Sorry, Porsche is ready. All right, Tom and Rhett start winching. Okay, Porsche, just a little bit of gas. Don't stop winching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, too much gas, Porsche. Can you give it the tiniest bit of gas? It's working good. We're finally making some progress. saws on the portion. Can Tom's winch go anymore without a problem? 
Okay, I want I want him to come out. I want you to fix the problem so when he spools in, it'll work. Okay, I'm winching out right now. Do your thing. Okay, can you gently back up? Highest altitude I've been in hours. That was nuts, man. Okay, here's a little status update. We've been pulling on and off up from this direction for about an hour. I think they've got that moving now. My main batteries are dead. We pulled the battery out of the wrecker. We're running that one down. I don't know how much juice it's got left in it. Hopefully enough to drive out of here and get us home. See how it goes. Back on down here, Rhett. Come on back, my man. All right, here's that sketchy part. Yeah, I don't like this part very yeah, much. Yeah, hug. Oh, what an ordeal. So this is what we were gonna do, even if these guys didn't show up. I don't know. Oh. start going but I want the Porsche to go first so Rhett you just hold off till I say go okay Porsche go driver go driver go driver there you go perfect now just drive This Porsche's off-road vehicle, it's like they're... Yes. Three, two, one, go! Okay, Porsche, back up. I'm getting no power out of the Porsche. I mean, it's in drive, it's in off-road mode, traction control's actually off, ride height's up. Emergency brake or anything, right? No, no, no emergency brakes on. Yeah, it's just, spinning. Not on. it's just not. I don't know if it's the computer. I don't know if it's the. I don't know if I've, I've like burned up the transfer case in it. I don't know if it's the computer. It's just nothing happens. I mean, it gives me so many faults that it's it's got like 40 faults on here. So there's no telling what that means. <sighs> Computers, man. This is the flat out Deadpool. All right, so it's the Bronco's turn. The Porsche hasn't quite made it around the corner. I know for a fact this will perform a lot better. That computer is destroying that Porsche right now because I can shut off most of the traction control where that Porsche can't and I've got lockers and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more confident on how well we're gonna make it up here. I don't think we're gonna beat the banana or the Morver or anywhere close to that. <laughs> he has a lot of confidence because We've been here since 9 a.m. and it's almost 4.30. <laughs> but we'll go with his optimism. You can do it, Hefe. <laughs> We're gonna try, that's for sure. As long as we get to a spot where we can winch around that corner good, that's the main goal right now. Get as high up on that hill as possible. That's pretty steep when you look at it from here. Okay, woo!
Holy cow, you're doing awesome! Yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of gas, man. I haven't had any food. Yeah. I got plenty of water. I think I'm a little bit low on electrolytes. Yeah. I'm so glad the Rebel Jeep is here. It's got snacks. Does it? Oh, yeah. I could use a snack. <laughs> of course. Take recovery points on the wrong side. Shoot. That's okay. With my Freedom Winch line, I can just go right around one of these. Colin, yeah. remember you can't drive. Even if I tell you to, you say, Dad, I can't. <laughs> okay? Is it around the wheel? Yeah. Makes sense. Inch. I'm about sick of walking up this sand hill. <laughs> day and it's been my fault. I just need this like eight more feet further forward and we lost our winch anchor just barely. I was betting on the banana getting over here, but I didn't see how terrible it is. All right, stop, Rhett. I think I can get past it. All right, we're gonna get past 
bypass, so just put it in neutral and let that transmission cool. Pepe, back up. Yep. A little bit less wheel speed at the beginning. Steady pull straight up this hill. And I don't want any jerking or kinetic energy. The first exercise is to take all the slack out of all the lines. At that point, I want you all to stop without digging any holes. Okay, Tom, I want you to back up about four feet. That's probably good right there. Turn your wheel a little to the left. That's your trajectory. Everybody else, go! Had sparks arcing everywhere. The battery was smoking. I yeah. thought you broke an arm. <sighs> no, I almost, I almost blew up your Jeep. Okay, I think we need to get the banana up at the top and parked. And, and we need to use Hefe's rig as a winch point to get that Porsche right here right, and Tom? backed up back there. I Cable. The only chance we have of making out of here is getting some speed. Oh man, how are we going to get out of here in a timely manner? So the banana actually got some traction that time, hit pretty good at the end of the rope, and the battery that's sitting in here flew back, pinned under the seat, and started arcing everywhere. So I ripped the battery cables off, but it was still sparking, and I couldn't move the battery to get it out of there. So I screamed for help and kept yanking until it came loose. All the help went to the wrong door. We got it all sorted out. We're gonna try something else. Brett. Whoa! Whoa look at that. that was the hitch. What did the hitch do? The, the winch strap broke. Yeah. Oh, it busted the soft shackle on the outside of it. What? What was there? A soft shackle that went in there? Or, uh, this, oh, whatever this unit okay. here is. Oh, it pop. Let it out. So it just oh, got it up. just went through it. It only, yep. it only got the. Uh, I see what happened. Yeah, this needs to always go on, out. on the underside of those. Yeah, that was my fault. I hooked that up wrong. So okay. At least you didn't lead an entire crew plus somebody <laughs> else's crew on a failed mission of doom and despair. On a two-day tour. Yeah, we need a little wheel speed.
at the red line. Woo. Okay, let's do this. Winch is engaged. Brett, you're gonna have to winch and pull forward nice and slow. Got it right here. I think he's gonna make it to where the banana is catching fire. So we just gotta keep him off of that rock other than that. You know, he might be get going, he gets going 40 miles an hour, he might have it. That's 550 horse. All right, good sir, are you ready? All right, I'm gonna have one go at this. Yeah. I have faith in you and in the Porsche. All right, everything I can do to make this thing go. Let's see it. There was a reason. People asked for it. Get in the it. shade. You're killing me. I get run over over there. That's okay. We just need a straight shot to you so we're not dragging you through the weeds. But we think we're going to need to save. grabbed all the ropes out of the banana as well just in case. To save us. So let's hook this one up to that one and then just run that one down, right? Yeah. This is about 180 feet. Okay. That's How far is he? 300 feet. <laughs> where that Run gets down us. and see what we got. Yeah. Damn. He's probably about two, two feet. Well, feet. I'll tell you where I land. We need more, 100 more feet. Okay. 20 plus 20 plus 30. 40, 70. You got a 40 footer, don't you? Hey Christopher, you got a, you got a rope? Hey, we got a 40 footer. We got one. I would like to pull from both sides because we don't want to pull this off. We've come this far without yoinking it off. So we just hooked the Bronco up. We're just waiting on them. Maybe more of a running okay, or you'll start, kill the battery. Start winching this thing in. Ropes are just stretching. Yeah. Is he moving? Not yet. It's Work has 
pulling vehicles down right here. How many do you have up top? What was that that broke? I don't know. It looks like twitch line. Was that a bad soft shackle connection or did something actually break? This line did not break. Whatever broke is up there. Tell them the shackle broke off the winch line. All right, we're ready for this to tighten up. Oh. All right, we're getting serious motion now. Go, okay, that's straight. Let's see, your steering wheel. This is, this is straight. Okay, cool. So just make your adjustments from there. You got it. Okay, stop. We just took all the bungee out of the road. You were up on top. Yeah, that's it. All right, we just moved a whole bunch. So you don't have to wiggle now anymore because you're not trying to get on top. Okay. Just hold the steering wheel steady. The front wheels are dragging. Give it the smallest amount of gas. Yeah, let's go. Tom, you're slacking. I'm slacking. <laughs> never ever. I'm never voluntarily coming to the sand chute to test or play. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Everything on this thing is fine. I mean, it really Honestly, I'm very proud of this car. It did great getting in here and it made it further up the hill on the charge out than I thought it would. And it's just not built for this kind of yeah. stuff. I mean, I, we could be out here in a Lamborghini or something. I mean, it's not, I'm not disappointed it can't pull this sand because I mean, your trucks are having trouble in it and they're amazing. So I just uh, hate this thing's been kind of dead weight on you, but uh, in the fortune, you know, there's no sand where we're going. So uh, yeah, you know, it's limitations now. It's going on its own now. All right, it looks like we've made it. As soon as that Porsche crosses that. Still working. No, we know. All right, it's driving on its own power. He made yeah. it past the sketchy spot. <laughs> you good, man? Yeah, did you see everybody? Everybody's like swarming yeah. Jody. <laughs> One of these times we're gonna have to hang out where I don't endanger your life and ruin your plans. Well, you know, you did not ruin plans. This turned out to be a fantastic plan. As I told somebody earlier, like, been watching you guys for years. So, like, getting to actually, like, be a part of one of these was, like, getting pulled up on stage to join the band. So, this was an awesome day. You guys were totally professional and awesome. And just watching you guys work, the communication. Now, he says like, we're professional. But we chose to drive down there of our own volition for no reason. Hey, and I chose to follow you. So, uh, no, that was awesome, man. I had a great and day, man. Thank you. You can consider the record tested and it failed, at least in its uh, current incarnation. Uh, Tom's putting the show on behind us. Right on. All right. Here's what you get, because you got rescued by us. Right on. And it's vacuum packed. Cool. For freshness. I will wear it proudly. Thank you so much for hanging out. Dude, this is we'll awesome, do it again. man. Absolutely. I will come get stuck with y'all anytime. All right, here's your shirt. Phew. You earned it. <laughs> I did. I hopped and hopped up down that mountain. He's yeah. once. All right, we got the Porsche out of there. We got the rental Jeep, the banana, the more bear. We did not get the, oh, we got the Bronco. Bronco, the Bronco did good. Yeah, it did good way job. good. Hey, thank you. <laughs> but the wrecker is lost down there for who knows how long. We'll get that another time because it ain't going to happen tonight. So if you want to see it, that's where you go. Thanks for watching. Don't go there. Don't go Don't there. <laughs> binoculars. Get binoculars if you want to see it. Yeah. Stay Make at the shop. Sure you walk. Walk. Don't drive down there.